Shopping Network. Just jump on Home Shopping Network or, or QVC and see what the hell they do. They are selling you. They are influencing you. They are using all type of persuasion tactics and communication in order for you to buy their product, to, to buy a goddamn green pot and, and, and make it very... The money is the last thing people think about. And I, I've mentioned this before. Only 10% of people care about money. Only 10% of people care about money. They want to know what's the end result. What can you do for me? What is your product going to do for me? How can you transform my life, make my life better? What can you do? And if you can persuade and influence that person and then communicate effectively, that's why when you see things, when you see things like elevator pitch, basically they want to know, can you communicate your business to me by the time I get to the seventh floor? That's all that is. Can you influence me and communicate to me clearly on this elevator by the time I reach to my floor? If you can do that, boom, I'm going to give you some money towards your business. That's all that is. That's all it. A, a, a elevator pitch is that's it what is a commercial of a sales and communication can you communicate to me effectively why your company or your service is good and can you influence me to want to take out my wallet go on your website type in my credit card number expiration date cvv number and associated zip code and buy your product that's what it is ladies and gentlemen if you can communicate, and, and I'm going to drill this in with you guys. If you can communicate and you can influence and sell people, you will be writing your own check. You will be writing your own check. A lot of us, we go into these dead-end positions where we cannot advance. We can't advance because they don't allow us to grow. Why are you staying in positions like that? At that point, once you see that you have reached the highest that you can in that organization, it is your God-given duty and for you to create an outlet, for you to pour more of yourself into that organization, like your own organization I'm talking about here, not somebody else's. I have a real good friend by the name of Jim Palmer, overachiever, way better salesman than me. And we both worked for the window company. This guy um, was an overachiever, high performer, wanted to get into his...